After another jailbreak, Bent County officials are calling on the state for help. This escape just months after KRDO 13 investigates took you inside the Bent County Jail, our team revealing major security issues after four inmates escaped last year. KRDO 13 investigator Quinn Risdorf is live in the studio to explain the financial concerns. Quinn. Yeah, Rob, Bent County Sheriff Jake Six says he currently has two staff members for each shift. He says he should have four per shift, but doesn't have the funding to fill those positions. In July, these four inmates escaped the Bent County Jail by breaking and crawling through the ceiling. To avoid another escape, the county approved more than $400,000 of renovations. But before they were completed, another inmate escaped the exact same way. This man, James Torres, crawled through the sheetrock ceiling and out of the building on Saturday. He was caught two hours later, but it brings up major safety concerns. Sheriff Jake Six blames himself for the first escape, but says this most recent one is a funding problem. The Benton County commissioners are now reaching out to the state legislators for help. This is as a jail legislative commission is expected to come out with new standards for jails. I'm hoping the state takes small jails like this one into uh, consideration when they're talking about what they do to jails. These theories and ideas sound good, and I'm not against, you know, improving and trying to make things better. However, they come with a price, and that price is much greater for those of us who are already skimping at every penny that we've got. Six is worried any regulations will only create more financial hardship for rural counties. One of the, the main topics is medical and mental health and if those if those are unfunded and we have a requirement to do those, we, we would close the facility. But the state law also says a county of our size, we have to have this building. Um, so we're kind of between a rock and a hard place. KRDO 13 investigates reached out to legislators on that jail commission to ask about funding for rural jails. They say there will be funding assistance available to help offset costs of complying with those potential jail standards. Reporting live in the studio, Corner at Store, Cardio, 13 Investigates. Oh, that sheriff in an untenable position. Quinn, thank you.